Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. But if you're new to this channel, please click that subscribe button and your like button so you can help this channel to grow. In this video, I would like to talk about Rocket Companies, the 35-year-old mortgage originator company who had made its first public earnings report on September 2, 2020, but share dips after market. Let's find out why. The newly IPO'd company flashed a record-breaking net revenue of $5 billion, which is a 437% year-over-year increase compared to last year's $938 million. On a gain on sale margin of 5.19% compared to last year of the same period of 3.23% or an increase of 61%. Rocket companies have a net income of $3.4 billion compared to 2019's Q2 of negative $54 million. Moreover, adjusted EBITDA is $3.8 billion which is earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization, which is an amazing growth of 868% year over year. Meanwhile, its loan volume originated in Q2 of 2020 is $72.3 billion compared to last year's Q2 of 31 Point nine billion, a 126% increase. Meanwhile, net rate lock volume is increased by 170%, having a $92 billion in quarter 2 of 2020. Many may be skeptical about their numbers as reported. As people may have a questioning mind who shall buy a home at the midst of pandemic. But actually, on my own point of view, this crisis give these people the purchasing power to purchase their first home or refinance because they have saved a lot from their lifestyle. Current homeowners are rushing to refinance their mortgage because of low interest rates as well as those people who wants or wish to have their first home buy. So the pandemic actually give us a lot of opportunities to save and have our first investment which is our home. Speaking of pandemic, Rocket companies had reduced their forbearance plan related to COVID-19 to approximately 96,000 clients or only 4.7%. Accordingly, per their earnings call, this rate is reduced as they had expected last June 2020. How about its business outlook? The company expects to maintain its growth to third quarter as they are projecting a net rate lock volume of $93 billion to $98 billion or a maximum of 108% increase compared to $47 billion in Q3 of 2019. Loan volume of $82 billion to $85 billion or a median of $83.5 billion representing 112% increase of 2019's Q3 of $40.3 billion. However, the company gives us a conservative gain on sale margin by having only a 4.05 to 4.3%, though an improvement of 23 to 31% compared to 2019's Q3 of 3.29%. I believe that the management is playing safe to meet its target in Q3, which could directly affect analyst opinion, hereby affecting its stock price. Moreover, they had downplayed in advance the growth in Q4, which could be lower because on the seasonality of the industry, which is fair enough because housing sales in December 
and November is relatively low. What surprised me on this earnings report of rocket companies as well is that their target market share of 25% by 2030. As their CEO had said that they are being proud with their performance, but even more encouraged by having a significant opportunity that remains in front of them. Imagine if you had invested on this company having a leader that has a vision to increase the market share, therefore you can or you have at least a hope that your shares would increase its value in no time. These numbers and business outlook of rocket companies is actually amazing. With that $3 billion of net income and that promising outlook and an honest management, but why the stock tanks after market today? Dipping as much as 9.26% after it closed at 31.31, adjusted closed after hours at $28.41. Why? Some investors may be disappointed that Parkity have not relayed their plans to company acquisition which is one of the reasons why they have an IPO. Moreover, the expectation that the management may declare or talk about having dividend declaration didn't happen. They just mentioned that when they were a private company, they had declared dividend as they have cash available on hand, but currently have no plan about it. So it might be the reason why the stock dips or maybe on the first week or until Friday or next week, the stock may be down because of this belief. But to me, it is understandable as management would have to focus first on scaling their business, improving their technology to achieve that projected market share by 2030. So what? Am I going to sell this stock? Of course not. I will continuously hold this share until my target selling price of $150 is attained. Actually, I am increasing it to $200 to $300 as price to sales ratio of RKT is only 10.34. Though it's above to lending tree of 4.03. However, forward PE or forward price earning ratio of RKT is only 21.45 compared to lending tree of 69.49. Also, the peak ratio of RKT is only 0.39 compared to lending tree of 8.79. It suggests that RKT stock actually is now being traded at a discount. Therefore, I'm maintaining my buy opinion on this stock and if you want to see my reason why I bought this stock, then check this video. That's all for today guys, so if you like this video, please click that subscribe button and your like button so you can help this channel to grow. As well as do not forget your notification bell so you'll be updated on my upcoming videos. Always remember that I'm dropping a video once or twice a week.